right. Now we're doing freight code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, regular expressions, check for mixed grouping of characters. All right. So now we're, so sometimes we want to check for groups of characters using a regular expression. And to achieve that, we use parentheses like we learned in the last one, or at least we saw in the last one. So if we want to find either penguin or pumpkin in a string, we can use the following reg pardon me, regular expression. We can do P, and then we'll have inside of the parentheses uh, either ingu or, pardon me, or umpk, and then we'll have in right here, and then a global flag after that. So then we're going to check whether the desired string groups are in the test string by using the test method. So we'll have let test regex pumpkin, and then let test, pardon me, let test string equal pumpkin, and let test regex equal the regex we just talked about. And then we'll have test regex dot test test string, and it will say true because it has the umk and the p, the p and the in right there. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyway, so we're going to fix the regex so that it checks for the names of Franklin Roosevelt or Eleanor Roosevelt in a case sensitive manner, and it should make concessions for middle names, all right? So then we're going to fix the code so that the regex that we have created is checked against my string, and either true or false is returned depending on whether the regex matches, all right? So basically what we're going to do here, we're going to have inside of these parentheses, we'll say something like this. We'll say Frank Lynn, like that, or Eleanor. And then we'll have, uh, since we're going to make the concession for the middle name, we'll just put a period right here for any character and a star like that for zero or more. And then we'll say Roosevelt, like that. And so down here, we're going to change this to be uh, my, how do we do it? My regex. Okay, so my regex, regex dot test. And we'll say my string like that. And so let's come all the way down here and say console dot log uh, result. And it says true. All right, so let's run the test. Uh, oh, we got to have a space in between these. So let's put a space right here. Still goes true. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to reuse patterns using capture groups. And we'll see you next time.